NT8 in the garage. That's the busted knuckle, no less. This is where the BC659 two five brackets are going to go. But if you're going to mount these to your panniers and you're going to use ammo boxes, this bullshit has to come off. And I'm going to show you how to do it quick and simple. You know anything about ammo boxes? These are spot welded in place. And I cheated a little bit. I already got some of it, some of it undone. So, you look for the spot welds. You take a uh, chisel. Bigger hammer. MacGyver will not shut the fuck up. I learned it from the old dudes. <laughs> he learned it from the old dudes. That's what he just said. He's got him. He ain't that hard. Shut up. This has to be done right for the Barbie guy. Are it. you in love with the hammer hitting? You in love with that hammer? Put it back by the hammer and hit it. That's all I was thinking, frog. We think it's in the game. Smack it like it's the enemy. You want me to sharpen the hammer? Yeah, you're right. This hammer is kind of dull. Yeah. It would be nice, nice if we had a sledgehammer. Yeah, I do. We need a future loge hammer for a handle. I get paid for Bam. Inside's off. Love that rust. Four tabs. One, two, four, These five boxes tabs. are from 1991. The boxes I put on the goat are from 1997. My old lady. I didn't have to deal with the fucking bullshit that was this bad. My old lady's box is going to that. So basically, these are going to go. That's back from the 60s. Drilled through. Old lady box. And bolt it on, and then it'll go on the uh, rack. You're plugging to order now. What the fuck are you talking so, about? <laughs> I give you that. More anti A pro tips on how to do it. Alrighty. Got them all wire brushed down. BC brackets. Gonna shoot them with some Krylon. Rust oleum. Or not Krylon. Rust oleum. Boy, I hope that don't get on the lens. Fuck. I'll be Alright, if you're gonna do this, when you start sanding it down, Start working it. You're gonna see all kinds of bullshit on your ammo boxes. You see a dent here, dent here, dent, 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 dent. And when you take the inside support bar off, this is gonna be the inside on the bike. You're gonna see all kinds of bullshit. Especially after you sand it down. Don't give a rat's ass about that because it's not going to show. Get your rust oleum down on it. It says it's ready to paint in 10 minutes. Nah, we're not going to play that game. You have basically six sides you have to do one, two, three, four. Underside five and six for the top, but it's going to be seven sides because you're going to have to deal with the inside lid, which shouldn't have any rust on it. But 
you're going to have to deal with it, trust me. You're going to have to pull the rubber gasket out, if you're going to do it right, and uh, pull the rubber gasket out, and then you're going to have to glue it back in after you get it done. You're probably going to want to sandblast it, because you're not going to be able to get, you know, get your shit in there, wire wheel, whatever, to get it done to the standard. So, I got rust pits up here, rust pits underneath the uh, cross support bar, dent, 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 whatever. I don't really care about that. Because like I said, that's going to be on the inside. And I'm not going to bondo shit on the other side anyway. Boxes come with dents, gives it character. So, we're rolling. Talk to you later.